to determine the coefficient of consolidation CV from 1D consolidation test, uh, there are two commonly used methods. So I'm going to go over the first one, the logarithm of time method in this uh, short video here. So the logarithm uh, time method starts with the plot of this consolidation test data. So you have deformation as the vertical axis plotted in linear scale, and you have time as a horizontal axis plotted in log scale. So from this curve, the first step is you want to extend the straight line portion of the primary consolidation. So this is the primary consolidation part of the curve. Um, so extend the straight line portion of this curve and also extend the secondary consolidation, the straight line portion of the secondary consolidation. And these two extensions intersect at point A. The corresponding deformation of uh, this intersection point we call it D100. So that's basically the deformation at 100% primary consolidation. In the next step, so within the top portion of this compression curve, first you pick time T1, and the corresponding point on this curve we call point B. And then you pick time T2, which is, oops, T2, which is uh, four times T1, and the corresponding point on the curve is point C. So note that uh, when you pick these two points, uh, you want to make sure that they are within the top curve, the portion of this consolidation plot, so basically at the early compression stage. Uh, the distance, step three here, the distance between point B and point C in deformation uh, we call this small x. So in step four, draw a horizontal line DE. So this DE here, horizontal line is at a distance x, which is determined from step three, above point B. And the deformation corresponding to this DE line is what we define as D naught. So basically the deformation at zero corresponding to zero percent primary consolidation. So we take all these uh, steps here to define D naught from this curve because simply we are because we're simply plotting time in log scale. So there's no T naught on uh, log scale uh, plot. So once you identify this D naught, so step five is to determine D50. So D50 is simply half of the sum of D0 plus D100. So that's your D50 value. And then once you get this D50, the time corresponding to D50 on this consolidation curve is what we call T50. So basically the time it takes for the soil to reach 50% consolidation. So once you have this T50, the final step is to calculate your coefficient of consolidation. And to do this, for 50% of uh, consolidation, we know from Tosaki's solution, the time factor, T sub V, is 0.197. And then using the definition of uh, time factor, we can back calculate coefficient of consolidation. So in this equation, so T sub V is 0.197 and T50 is something we read from the curve that we obtain from step five. And this HDR square term here, so HDR is the maximum drainage distance, and for 1D consolidation test with double drainage, it's basically equals to half of the specimen height. So with this, you can calculate coefficient of consolidation.